Hello, my name is Raven. Welcome to my using Crowd System Basics in Unreal. Uh, in this tutorial, I'll show you how to use Unreal's Crowd System and make uh, a robot army go from one end of the ground to the other. All right, so let's create our ground. 2048. All right. Now let's place a directional light. light dominant okay and now what we need to do is we need to place we need to go to our browser windows actor classes and we need to set two game crowd and destination points I'm going to set one here uh, move it over some I don't want them too close to the edge so they just don't start all falling off. And then I'm going to place another one here. Alright. Next thing we need to do is we need to connect these two so that they will spawn here and run over here, die, and start over and repeat. Alright, so go to the Game Crowd Destinations tab. Select next destination. Type in game crowd destination underscore one. And as you can see, they have now connected. Alright. Select game crowd destination underscore one. Select kill when reached. And now when they run over and they get there, they will die. And respawn back over here. And continue a never ending cycle. Alright, so now we need to go to view Unreal Kismet, open up the Kismet editor, and now we need to set everything up. So go to right click, new event, level loaded. Uh, you can hold down control in Kismet or the material editor, or, and you can hold down control to move the nodes around. So we need a level loaded, so right click, new action, crowd, UT crowd spawner, okay, uh, select our first crowd game crowd destination, uh, right click, add a new object variable, uh, go from spawn point, drag it over to the game destination, load invisible, on level load, drag over to start, all right, we're almost uh, done. All right, next thing we need to do is we need to add a UT game crowd agent. Uh, place it anywhere you want. Okay. Now where you see agent ar agent archetypes, add new item. in the name of our UT game agent spawner. In this case it is UT game crowd agent underscore zero. Okay. Now next thing we need to do where you see agent lighting we need to change it to dynamic so we can see it better. Well see them better. Um, you can turn on shadows, uh, change the number that you spawn, change the rate at which you spawn them, etc. Um, unactivate only spawn hidden objects, otherwise we would have to hide this spawn target from our camera. Okay, now all we need to do is rebuild everything. I'm going to build the lighting first so I don't have to build a uh, light mass, then rebuild the AI paths, and then we can test. Um, right click, play level from here, holding down control will put you in spectator mode. And as you can see, our lovely little robots are all running over to the end where they disappear. And they'll keep doing that pretty much forever. Alright, 
and you can hide this guy here by double clicking on him display hidden ah might not want to hide him never mind since uh they seem to all pull from him also don't kill him kill each one of them or as many as you want to and they'll just keep on running and they will also get out of your way if you happen to be standing in their way thank you I hope you enjoyed this tutorial